Hey guys, I was gonna show you what I got at the grocery store today and explain a little bit about buying extra and um, coffee canning. Um, I'm gonna start over here. I'm trying to buy some healthier snacks besides chips to eat and for Scott's lunches for work. So I've been buying these Quaker uh, rice crisps. These I didn't buy extra of, I just bought them because he needs something for his snacks the next couple of days. So. I got uh, him some of those and he hasn't complained, so I think he likes them. He would complain if he didn't like them. Um, and then I, I don't know about anybody else, but does anybody else like these garden veggie straws? I love the ranch. I haven't tried the sea salt because I try and stay away from the salt. These have salt in them too, but I don't think as bad. Um, but I love these. I busted into them on the way home and snacked on them because I just couldn't wait. Uh, back here I have the Italian sides, the Nor. Um, I buy the shells and I also buy the rice. Let's see if I have, yeah, I got the mushroom rice here. And these are a buck. These have always been a buck or they've, been, they've stayed the same price for a long time. So um, I bought a couple uh, mushroom, I bought a couple Parmesan, I bought a couple of the shells, the creamy garlic shells. And then this one I just found, Alfredo pasta and sauce. Um, Scott's not a huge fan of Alfredo, but I think if we mixed meat into it of some sort, he probably would eat it. And these are 79 cents compared to the dollar, um, the dollar nor, uh, and these are the Walmart brand. That's where I shopped. I also got the, uh, Walmart brand roasted garlic potatoes. They're kind of like instant potatoes, I guess. Uh, they're okay. They're not my favorite, but hey for what was it i think those are a dollar as well um there's too many things on this list to go through to figure it out what's what um but yeah i think those are a dollar as well they may be mashed potatoes oh nope sorry 84 cents so I got three of those. I have some, but I have a bucket with my gamma lid that I stick all those into with some desiccants and I just let it roll. We'll just put it in there and whenever I need them, I can unscrew the gamma lid and get one out. Um, I have, I bought a box of elbows. I went through a pound uh, over the last couple of weeks and it's cheaper to buy the three pound one box than it is to buy the three separate pounds. Um, this is two, two something, 292. 292 for three pounds, and it's over $3 if you buy individual three pounds. So I bought those, um, and so we have two extra pounds, you know, for less than what I would pay to buy three. So. And that'll last us a good long time. We have all kinds of pasta, so that'll last us a long time. I bought butter, and I bought a lot of it. I got uh, two, four, six, eight, nine. I thought about ten, but two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, all right. Well, I bought nine packages of butter. I'm going to try and can butter. There'll probably be a video coming up pretty soon on these. I did get the salted and the unsalted and just a couple of the salted and I'm going to mix it all together I think and then um, there'll be just a little bit of salt not all kinds of salt in the butter if I mix it together but there'll be a video coming on that. I bought uh, vitamin D. I have to take this every day and I've been giving it to Scott as well so I bought a two pack for eight eight eighty eight I believe for two pack so a little over four bucks for a bottle and there's 200 in there those will last us if we take one a day that'll last us quite a while i bought italian uh breadcrumbs they're always good for uh not just chicken but anything um so if you have something that's not real tasty or you know whatever my italian breadcrumbs i tried and stock up on those and keep a bunch of them i got a twin pack of the stove top i used a pack I don't know, last week maybe. And so I got the twin pack this week and I don't remember what the twin pack cost. But I think it was around $3. Um, I got some salsa. Um, again, trying to eat a little healthier. So um, I, have, I, have, I have a few taco chips 
And so we just use those in salsa and sneakily that's how I get uh, veggies into Scott's diet because he doesn't really like tomatoes and stuff like that, but he'll eat that and it's got onions and he'll eat onions and stuff, but he doesn't really like tomatoes, but it's a way to sneak in veggies in his diet without him realizing it. Shh, don't tell him. He'll probably watch this and go, oh, I see your trick. Anyway, salsa is really good anyway. It's good on eggs and all kinds of things. So um, I got a pack of batteries. We only needed, well, I could have bought a small pack for eight bucks, uh, an eight pack for six bucks. I can't remember how much they are, but I bought the 16 pack. So it's like getting two packs in one. It's always good to have extra batteries around. These are AAs. Um, next time I go, maybe I'll buy some triple A's or D's or whatever we use a lot around here. So corned beef hash, uh, I used a can the other day for Scott's breakfast, so I bought two. So we've got an extra copy canning. That's, that's how you do that. If you use up one, when you go to buy that one again, get your second one. That's copy canning. It's really a good thing. Uh, fast rising yeast. I got four packs of three. I'm going to store those away. That's uh, fast rising and I got the active dry yeast. I got four packs of those as well. And there's three in each pack. So that'll do quite a few rolls or bread or whatever I decide to make. I got a big thing of flour. Um, trying to stat store flour. Uh, I'm low on the one little pound bag that I had. So I think that one's like a five pounder. I don't know what it is. Is it? Oh, 10 pounds. Oops, sorry. Um, so the other one must be five pounds. So I got the 10 pound this time. Um, I can't remember what the flour is here. It'd be interesting to know what the prices are compared to what you guys have in your area. So the, the, it was 408 for that 10 pound bag of flour. Um, and that aisle was actually, the baking aisle wasn't too bad. I've gone in the baking aisle before and it's been not very good. It wasn't too bad. I went in the canned meat aisle, not too bad. Um, that's been pretty trashed before. Um, but not too bad. But I will tell you, in the dairy aisle, not good at all. Dairy aisle. And I think I got a little picture or a video. Yeah, I got a video of it. I'll show it to you guys right now. Up in the corner somewhere. Okay, so um got mozzarella, uh, big bag, and I got taco blend. It was cheaper to buy the bigger bag than it was the smaller. Um, if I could find it, I don't see it. It's here somewhere. I found cheese, but it's this cheese, which I can show you. This is $7.97. I can't pick it up. It's a big block of cheese, um, processed cheese, but I cut it open. I break it up into small packs and freeze it and take it out when we need it. It lasts us a long time, it's 120 slices. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, I got a couple boxes of Bisquick over here in the corner. Um, I just like to keep that handy because it's not just for pancakes, it's a baking mix as well. So you can mix that up with even, it says milk, but you can mix it stuff up with water and it would still um, taste the same and you can mix your meat into it and a little bit of cheese on top and you have a meal. It's a quick, easy meal. I got uh, some syrup to go with it. If we do have pancakes, um, but I just stocking up, we don't really need it because we still have some of our uh, maple syrup from what we did last spring. So we're still working on that because we don't eat a lot of pancakey stuff that needs syrup. Sometimes French toast. Uh, a big thing of sugar. That one's 10 pounds. Um, I just figured since I was buying flour, I might as well buy sugar. Uh, these are already made beef patties, 100% pure beef burgers. This is the 85%, they have the 80 and I think the 90. This is like the middle of the road and these, I think these are good. Um, they're not super thick, they're not super tasty, 
but there's 12 burgers in here and those are, I think $12. $12.92 for these packages and I got two because we eat these a lot when we need a quick meal. Uh, if we've been out doing firewood or something and we're just starving and we want something to eat, we throw these uh, either in a pan or on the grill and they cook up super quick and throw a couple rolls on and warm them up and they're a great quick meal when you're trying to get work done and just don't feel like cooking. It's They're, really, they're already made. They're pretty awesome. Okay, so I got four, oh, I guess I got different, um, four cans of roast beef. This is the great value, so it's the Walmart brand. This one is packed in broth, and they're fully cooked. So I could just open this up, um, open up a can, a back package of the Alfredo pasta sauce, and dump that in, mix it all up, and you've got a meal if you needed a quick easy meal, uh, you didn't have much around the house. These will last quite a while. I don't think there's a lot, a lot of meat in there because there, there's a lot of broth in there. So I've got two of those, and then I wanted to try these fajita beef strips. Um, it feels like there's a little bit more in there, or they're thicker. Again, great value brand. I got two of those. Um, a little bug. Uh, liquid IV hydration multiplier. These uh, I bought off Amazon and I saw this in the store when I was going down an aisle. This is the lemon lime flavor. One packet is the equivalent of three bottles of water. Uh, right now it's getting cold and we don't need, um, you know, all that water. But if we get sick or, you know, get dehydrated, dehydrated for some reason, these guys are great um, to just, they're just little powder packets that you put in a glass of water and it helps you. Um, it says hydration, hydration for performance, travel, heat, sun, and wellness. So I did buy a little package. How many is in this package? Six, six packets. So, and I have a bigger box. Like I said, I got off Amazon, but um, you know, if you get dehydrated when you're sick, when you have a fever, these would probably help um, get the fluids to your body. Um, and they also have essential vitamins of B1, uh, one, I gotta take my glasses off, B1, uh, B3, sorry, five, six, 12, and vitamin C. So all that stuff will help you stay healthy or get healthy. Um, so I thought I'd share that. I bought some sour cream because I like sour cream with my salsa on my eggs. Some people do. I don't always do it, but I bought some this time because I think my daughter's coming over and we like to have that for breakfast. Uh, I showed you the cheese. So let's see, can you see uh, back here? Back here, more healthy snacks. Um, Sunbelt Bakery, this is peanut butter chocolate chip. So there are 10 chewy granola bars in there. Again, just trying to find healthy snacks to eat. Oatmeal, apple, cinnamon, almond, kind oatmeal. I bought some of those. Um, I bought blueberry, strawberry, Quaker oatmeal. Um, these are both instant. And then I got instant cream of wheat. I used to eat this all the time when I was a little kid, but I'm trying to get a little bit healthier. My blood pressure and uh, cholesterol um, are really high and I haven't felt really very good. So I'm trying to find some better things to eat. Uh, blueberry Cheerios, lowers cholesterol. Um, sometimes I eat cereal for supper when Scott's not home. So, um, I keep this stuff around just in case. And let's see, complete pancake waffle mix. Now this is different from Bisquick. Um, this is the pancake waffle stuff. So, um, you probably could cook with it as well. I would think I haven't tried because I always have biscuit around, but, um, if that's what you're looking for is pancake or waffle mix. There you go. All right. Let's see what else we got here. I bought some meat. Um, this stuff is discounted. I'm going to put this all in the freezer, but this is sirloin tip, really thin, thin meat. I don't know if you can see that in the package, how thin it's just like super thin, super thin. But um, this is great for cutting it all up. 
and just stir frying it with some veggies. And so I got two of those, um, regularly $10.95 for this one. I get it for $9.53, not a huge savings, but um, a little bit. And then this one was regularly $11.10, and I get this for $9.66. Again, not super big savings, but better than nothing. Uh, I always buy ground turkey. It's cheap. It's like two, I don't know, two seventy four or two eighty four or something a pound. That's pretty inexpensive um, compared to meat, uh, beef. So uh, and it's good for you. So I bought two of those. I need to cut them open, and I'm gonna use my food saver and uh, seal those up. All of this, I'm gonna seal them up into separate packages. The other thing I got because I don't I don't normally buy this, but um, it was on clearance or get rid of because the date is uh, for today. So it was normally ten thirty one. It's seven seventy three, and it's fajita seasoned flank steak. So again, it's probably what I will do with this is like season it, cut it in strips or chunks, season it up. We also uh, it's getting to be chili season. We also like to cut up beef um, in bite size. Uh, besides the burger and put that into our chili just to give it a little more something to bite into so that will be good to use for that but anyway uh, fajita seasoned flank steak I got two of those they both were 1031 I got them for 773 so I'll repackage these and freeze them in my food saver bags um, I'm limited to freezer space so I don't buy a lot of freezer stuff because I'm already packed pretty full so I have to rearrange all the time but um, that's pretty much what I got so I hope this helps explain a little bit um, on what I talk about when I say you know when you use a can pick up a second one when you go to replace that can um, and then you've got two and you take one put it away somewhere um, in a cupboard separate from your normal stuff unless you, that's all you have and, and that's fine too um, and then you know that you have an extra can kicking around. Um, when you buy meat like this, buy something to mix with it. Uh, we have a lot of rice, so I'm not buying plain rice, but I've been buying flavored rice because for a buck, I mean, I can't pass it up. Uh, noodles, things like that. Um, so hopefully it helps to explain a little bit of what I talk about when I say buy an extra can of this or that or whatever. Not just can, but two packages of beef or turkey. Um, anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.